triple seven. Hello world, this is the Hacker Triple O Seven, and today I'm showing you guys a Mac transformation pack. Now what this is, it's basically a 30 um, megabyte installer file that completely transforms your Windows 7 desktop into a Mac desktop. I'm going to put you guys through the whole installation and then I'm going to restart my computer and then continue the video with the new look. Now, um, I'll show you a couple key, key features of this, of this transformation pack. Um, some, key, some key information is so here's some features adds applications to emulate Snow, Le Snow Leopard features like dock, so like this spaces, shadow, etc changes the default login screen background to the default Snow Leopard background changes the system branding logo to Snow Leopard changes the system configuration such as the taskbar position and to look like Snow Leopard and changes the system icon and graphics to Snow Leopard and then obviously changes the theme now without any further wait, let's get started. So I've already downloaded the file. It's uh, right here. This is what it looks like, STP15. I'm just going to extract it. And it is two files. And here we go. This is the one you need to click. Snow Transformation Pack 1.5. Click that and you should get this. So I'm gonna unclick this and hit next. And accept the agreement and click next. And next again. Okay, so now you can choose um, different. For this config performance, modify system files, running through new track system performance, and actually tweaks and experience. I don't know completed. Completed looks more looks the most like Mac. Performance tries to keep your computer running fast. But I already have fast computers, so I don't need to do that. Now you're gonna click transform. Now it's gonna copy your files. And then there we go. Right now it's copying a file for Microsoft's Paint and some documents DOL file. And as you guys probably did see at the beginning of my new of my video, I got a new intro. If you guys didn't see one of my last videos, um, my friend Six he made my a new in, he made my last intro and he made this new one for me too. Uh, great guy, check him out. He makes a lot of cool like video edits. Of like him edit well videos then edited them putting little cool effects and stuff. So uh, I always have I I always have a link of his uh, channel in my description. Check him out, awesome guy. Ten seconds remaining for the last three minutes. Oh, there we go. Move a little faster there. Oh, we got a flashing screen. Now my screen is black and I cannot see anything. As you guys can hear, I hear a lot of beeps, which is the file transfer, so means files are being filed. Pretty soon, I believe, Explore will restart, and 
stuff and stuff, and more stuff will happen. Oh, there we go. Well, we're back with some more file copy. And there you go. Snow Transformation Pack has finished the operation successfully. It's going to restart your system. Please exit all. So, I'm going to hit finish and so restart my system. So, I will be back with you guys when this, video, when this, when my computer starts. Hello guys, I'm back, and as you can see, my computer has been completely transformed. Right off the bat, as you can see, we got the Mac wallpaper. It is the special Mac, th looks like a 3D background-ish dock with all, some, all my icons still. And at the top, we got the white taskbar with my custom icons still. Now, I got custom icons. You guys probably don't. So, it will automatically replace your icons with Mac icons. So in the corner here, as you can see, we got a little white here. That's the black from my other theme. And then we got the white here. So, I'm going to show you a couple browsers. Um, sadly, I have Mo the, new, the new muzzle of Firefox. So, um, the Mac OS theme does not work for the new, for the new Firefox. So I think that kind of sucks. But it does work with the new Google Chrome. So I will show you that. It looks very sleek. And as you can see on my mouse, there's a little, little Mac wheels on there. But as you can see, it looks very sleek. Um, all white. You know, it looks just like Mac. Alright. And we got the custom system files, as you see here. And we got the minimize, maximize close. And I'll show you a couple other browsers. So, Opera. Here's Opera. This is what Opera looks like with the theme. It doesn't look too bad because it does have the transparent top, so you just see into the background. Once it loads. There we go. And so, as you see, it, it doesn't look too bad. And for the very few people who use Safari on on Windows. I don't use Safari, I just have it. Safari loads really slow, I find on my computer. Like really slow. <laughs> but as you see it looks pretty good too though. Because it's naturally already white. So Okay, I'm going to bring you guys now into the start menu. So, I'm going to click the little apple button. And we got the whole white start menu with these rectangle shutdown buttons here. And I'll go to all programs, highlights in blue. We got the custom Mac scroller. And then obviously that. Now, one of my favorite features, the explore menu. Here we go. So we got the custom scrollers everywhere here. We got the custom file menus, custom title bars, um, library has been edited too, so it doesn't look like the normal windows. Take you through. I just see up here too, the icon has been changed to a little, um, whatever it's called, <laughs> I forget now. So here we go, um, we have a little apple symbol here, closed here, and it's an ultimate obviously, and we have the custom back and forward buttons, but I'll take you guys to the 
uninstall program. So again, custom scroll menus, stuff like that. The X up here, the blue, the blue, blue Mac bar, and then the control panel. And as you can see, these guys are are all custom icons. So that's it, about it for this video. Um, it's probably about 15 minutes long, so I don't want to extend too much here. So um, thanks for watching. The download link to this setup will be in the description. And have a nice day. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.